All right, everyone, you better soak in the bright and early mornings this week because next weekend we spring forward and move our clocks up by one hour. Some health officials warning, though, that now is the time to prepare to avoid any harmful effects. We see a lot of adverse outcomes, even with that acute change. So changes in mood, um, increased risk for heart attack and stroke even with this shift into daylight saving time. The time change is coming and S. Justin Thomas with UAB Psychiatry Department says it brings health risks. Anytime we either lose sleep or, or we're not sleeping when our body wants us to sleep, it has a variety of outcomes that can affect our ability to think, concentrate. Um, it can affect our mood, um, you know, maybe an increased risk of depression, anxiety, etc. Even more car crashes tend to happen after a time change. Thomas says simply going to bed earlier might not be the solution. Light suppresses our natural melatonin release. And so if we expose ourselves to light before we're trying to go to bed, whether that be through electronics or, you know, home lighting, it tends to suppress melatonin and makes it harder to fall asleep. So I think being mindful of light and making sure you're kind of in a dim, dimly lit environment in the hour leading up to bed can be helpful. Which is a big reason Thomas says more light at the end of the day isn't always a good thing. While some lawmakers are pushing for permanent daylight saving time, Thomas says the sleep community is pushing for the opposite. Most scientific evidence suggests that permanent standard time the lighting that we experience is actually more in line with our body's normal rhythms. We've tried the permanent daylight saving time and eliminated after less than a year because it was so bad. The U.S. tried out permanent daylight saving time back in the 70s, but the law was retracted within a year. Thomas says another way to prepare for next week's time change, get the recommended eight hours of sleep each night this coming week. So if you do happen to lose an hour next Sunday, it won't be as impactful. And at least.